Ayes 65, nose 3, the bill passes. One step forward in a years-long fight, an overwhelming majority of the California State Assembly voted Thursday to pass Assembly Bill 1, which would allow 1,800 legislative employees, such as aides, committee staff, and communication reps to form a union. This would open the door to collective bargaining, regardless of political affiliation. It's the first time in state history that the Assembly approved legislation like this after lawmakers rejected similar bills in recent years. Today we came together to make bold change in the legislature. Democratic Assembly member Tina McKinner from Inglewood authored the bill. This way they'll have a representative to bargain on wages, on um, time off, on um, to make sure that there's no bullying and sexual harassment. Our staff's not asking for a favor or a handout. They're asked to be treated like any other state staffer. AB1 political buttons fill a bowl in Assemblymember McKinner's office. It's an issue close to her heart as she herself used to be a legislative staffer. When my counterparts were making 150, 180, 200,000 and I came in at 90. The organization governed for California opposed similar legislation last year, arguing there could be conflict of interest if unions representing staffers were against certain bills, but this time around there are no groups publicly speaking out against AB1. And with 42 co-authors from both sides of the aisle, there's strong bipartisan support for the bill. I'm supportive of this because I want people to have that conversation and it can't be us, it can't be us. It has to be a collectively bargained and discussed by the union. Assemblymember McKinner says in a state like California, which often supports workers' right to unionize, it's about time to include legislative staff. We see them and we're with them and we respect them. Reporting in Sacramento, Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News. AB1 now heads to the state Senate for further consideration.